a quick unboxing here. I just picked up this new video card for my HTPC. Uh, it's a MSI Radon 7850, the Twin Frozer edition, Twin Frozer 3. Uh, it's got two gigs of DDR5 video memory on board, and it's got the dual, dual cooling fans, and it's supposed to only be 20, 27 decibels full load, so it should be super quiet for, for the needs that I have for my HTPC. I don't want a loud or large video card. So this thing is supposed to run really cool, and uh, comes in nice packaging. As you can see, you can kind of see the card in there. I don't know, it's kind of glary, but you can see the card in there, and it kind of just lists all the information. Uh, about it in here. These solid capacitors for longer life. Uh, it comes with the MSI Afterburner software for overclocking and stuff. I guess this card has had great overclocking uh, abilities. Reading online. Um, and because of the cooling solution on this one, you can get a good overclock of a couple hundred megahertz on the core and RAM, and it'll still be stable and run a lot cooler than like <clears throat> a lot of NVIDIA cards and stuff. So we'll go ahead and open the box up and see what's inside. Comes very nicely packaged here. And the protective plastic. And it looks like we got a, a Molex, regular Molex to six pin connector. So that's pretty good. That's another plus about this card and why I chose it. It has a very low power draw for uh, the power of it. It only draws 100 watts pretty much. So it only requires one six pin connector as opposed to a lot of other video cards that require uh, like two two six pins or even two eight pins or something like that so this this offers a good low power but high performance ratio so here's the card itself let's see if we got anything underneath looks like we got more oh yeah so it comes with a dvi to vga uh, adapter which is pretty handy <clears throat> it comes with a uh, mini display port to a full size display port connector which is also handy comes with your software um, maybe just some like installation instructions or something like that a oh, quick guide uh, crossfire link for if you run two cards in, in parallel and then just another little thing about the graphics card we'll open up the card real quick Here's the card itself. You can see it has some nice uh, heat fans on there. On top, this is all metal and then nickel plated copper for the uh, heat pipes to dispense the heat. Quick look at the back here. You guys can see it has one DVI port, an HDMI, and two uh, mini display ports. Bottom here, you can see the heat pipes coming off. This is a uh, PCI Express 3.0 compatible. Look at the, bot the rear side of the card here. This is another reason I showed that it has one uh, six pin power connector and it's located so it comes out the back instead of uh, from the top, which is gonna help with my HTPC install. Look at the top side, guys. This card does only offer one crossfire link, so you cannot link more than two cards together for added performance. Just something to keep in mind on this series. And uh, this top portion is made of aluminum, so it's pretty nice. Uh, overall construction looks great. Great packaging. Uh, this card does take up two PCI slots in back, so make sure you have enough room. And uh, thanks for watching my tutorial, guys.